Setting up your new Square hardware is simple, and you can add more hardware as your restaurant grows. To get started, you'll need a few things. A Square POS device, a receipt printer and cables, and a wireless router. You won't need a cash drawer for this tutorial, but consider purchasing one for your restaurant. First, disconnect your old POS hardware and leave your router connected. Throughout the setup, make sure you connect all of your devices and hardware to your private Wi-Fi network. For your point of sale, you have the option to use either Square Stand or Square Stand Mount, which turns an iPad into an integrated server station in minutes, or a Square Register if you want a POS system with a hardwired Ethernet connection. If you're using an iPad, complete the iPad setup, connect the iPad to your private Wi-Fi, and download the Square Restaurants POS app. You'll need to sign in with a device code, which you can create in your Square dashboard. Now, let's set up your printer. When selecting one, it's important to know how it will be used. A printer with a USB connection can connect to one POS device at a time. A printer with an Ethernet port connects to your network, allowing multiple POS devices to print receipts and tickets from the same printer. First, plug your printer into the Square Accessory Hub with the USB cable, or connect the printer to your network with an Ethernet cable. Then, go to the POS settings and create a printer station. Select the printer, and then do a test print to make sure it is connected to the device. From there, select the ways the printer will be used and click Save. To connect multiple devices to the same Ethernet printer, follow these steps with each POS device. For table side ordering and payments, you have two different handheld options. Square Terminal is an all-in-one POS and payment device with a built-in printer, while the mobile POS kit turns an Android phone into a handheld POS that takes payments with a connected Square reader. If you have a large space and are using multiple Wi-Fi devices, consider installing an access point or network extender nearby so every device has a strong connection. Lastly, let's talk about what to do when your network goes down. Thankfully, your POS can still collect payments in offline mode for up to 24 hours until your network is available. During the downtime, connect a USB printer directly to a POS to continue printing orders and receipts. There you are. Your new hardware is ready for service. If you need additional help, call our 24-7 support line or use the QR code to get to our help page.